Ah, this fucking crab. Hello, uh, we are back to the sinking city. It's your boy, Matt My Muscles, and this is another Matt's Nightmares. Because I guess you all demanded it. I don't know. I'm not sure if you actually did, but I'm playing it again anyway today. So, uh, last we left off, we dived deep into the sea, under the sea. There's some fucked up shit there. Um, I kind of took a nap, and I woke up back in my... Uh, uh, domicile, I guess it's a hotel, um, and I did one thing uh, in the time uh, since the last part. Um, what I did was go into the map, and I actually finally unlocked uh, fast travel points. Actually, I can't fast travel from here, um, but I just went around the map and I just tried to find as many to, to expedite. Didn't find any Salvation Harbor yet, but expedite the... Um, you know, back and forth process of going to places because um, we're going to do the side quest that uh, showed up. I think it's field research. Yeah, okay. So this actually apparently unlocks uh, a couple more things in the game if you do them. So I think we'll start off by doing the side quest and then maybe uh, go back onto the main. Um, Dr. Grant from the Oakmont uh, City Hospital is interested in the wild beasts. Go wild beasts! He believes that by studying these creatures, their origin, blah, blah, blah. He can't lose patience, though, so I need. I agreed to assist him with the field search. Uh, Dr. Grasser uh, asked me to visit a shop in Central Salvation Harbor on Windheim Street, south of Polaris Road. So, I want to go to the map. Uh, so, Salvation Harbor, uh, Windheim Street, south of Polaris Road. Um, so I haven't really been to Salvation Harbor, so unfortunately all my fast travel points are really going to do shit right now, um, which is regrettable. Whoopsie. All right, there's Windheim Street, so let's put a thing on that. Danger, watch yourself. No, field research. Um, so there you go. Uh, we'll shut that down and leave for the day. Bye, gentlemen. I'm off to save the world. Okay. So hopefully our, yeah, our, our, the good old Cyclops 2. It's so much better than the Cyclops 1. And we're off. All right, so this is Polaris Road. So once I hit some land, uh, just going straight through should hopefully, whoa, that looked like a cool volleyball. I don't know what the kids in Oakmont are playing anymore. That seemed like a fun game. Um, so the other thing I came across when I was um, unlocking some fast travel points is infested areas. Basically, they're barricaded off. Let me check. Okay. Uh, basically, they're barricaded off sections of the city that have tons of monsters roving around. So I just fucking booked it. Um, I don't want to mess with that jazz. Wasn't really in the mood, so I didn't do it. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to have to go through there, like, proper later. Fuck me! <laughs> oh, God, are you serious? Okay, wow. Okay. So, I go straight for like two blocks and then hang a left. Fortunately, this is my max running speed. I mean, it's not bad. It's not great. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Whoa, all right. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully this car will stop him. Oh god, I can loot it. Oh, it was worth it! Coil Springs! Oh, shit! Alright, alright, go, 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 go! I can't believe this happened just as I said it. Oh! Okay, he can't go past that. Alright, he teleported away. Ah, shit! <laughs> oh my god! Can that really come here? I guess it can! I didn't think those things could come off infested areas. I just assumed they would. Jesus H. Christ. All right, here's a fast travel point. Look at that. Holy, that was intense. Okay, uh, I gotta flip, turn upside down. Extra, 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 extra giant monsters, nobody seems to care. All right, so I think this is it. Lean up to it. That looks kind of like a cemetery or like a family plot, if you will. The I mean, muscles family plot is fucked up. I don't want to talk about it. I'd, I'd like to take a drink, sir, but that's empty. Wow, what a weird character design. I'm- Whoa, what a weird character design! Hi there, sir. Sir, you seem like you're going to a rave. Alright. Have a good time. Alright, so I'm looking for, like, enemies, basically. Uh, actually, let me read the case file again, exactly. 
Um, Dr. Grassley, uh, even before the flood, the man that owned it was haunted by monsters in his dreams. He may know something useful about those creatures. I should ask him about it. Okay, so basically we're just talking to somebody. That's fine. I can handle that. Hopefully. So another note I read uh, earlier from a patient stop is that these scratches on the doors, they indicate different things. Like one means that there's uh, somebody inside. One means that there's uh, provisions, you know, like goods to uh, scavenge. And one means that there's enemies inside. Um, so stay away from the enemies if I'm like, don't want to go into a fight. But I'm not... <laughs> Fuck. That one's slightly different. But nonetheless slimy. Alrighty. Oh, it's wiggling. Um, okay. Hospital response. The disturbing dreams you complained about may be the result of the hymenth infestation. Your description of the creatures you see and feel while sleeping is reminiscent of some parasitic forms of life. I recommend you follow the recipe below to prepare an ointment for my of my own devising. This should ease your symptoms and help you get rid of any and all parasites. Okay, well, if that works, that's cool. Uh, do I doubt that it works? Very big doubt. Big Cole Phelps doubt. Those blood stains would definitely attract wild beasts. Yep, someone had an oopsie in the bed, see? Shop owner's notes. The dream has returned again, even stronger than before. I feel those things touching me, crawling inside, leaning towards my warmth. The doctor is a Dane, obsessed with his theories, but who can help me? I'm losing my mind. Today I woke up, and one of the creatures is under my blanket. Whoa! I smashed it on the floor and stomped until it stopped moving, but it was no more than a dream. It is real. Uh, okay. Uh, it was no more a dream. It is real. Neither coffee nor cocanium. Whoa, cocanium! That sounds sick. Work to stay awake. K, help me. Twice I have almost fallen asleep and they appeared again. It's like those weird things that happen in Berserk. You know, the, you know the ones? Oh, holy shit. It's exactly like the things in Berserk. Those weird little parasites that attach to your head. Hate that shit. Oh, okay. This, this way? Cool. All right, downstairs. Great. Oh, you almost grabbed me. I don't like that. What was that? I saw something weird. I guess downstairs we go. It's gonna be fun. You know what? Let me craft some more bullets. Why not? Why not? There's no reason not to. Okay, an army issue bolt M1 uh, M11. Easy to handle and to carry concealed. The private eyes weapon choice uses 38 pistol rounds. Choice six shooter bolt model T nicknamed the Widowmaker uses powerful uh, 44 cartridges. I think that's okay for now. I don't really need the submachine gun quite yet. I don't think. Watch me quite need to use it right now. So that, so that guy can't tell me much about the creatures. Jesus. I don't think he's going to tell me much about those monsters. <laughs> well said, uh, Chuck. Okay, well maybe he told me about the cool monsters in his fan fiction. Can't bear to stay awake any longer. Can't let them take me there. Every time I see them in a dream, they appear near me. Touch me with a cold hand. Sting my balls. There's only one way to end this suffering. K, forgive me. So I guess that about does it for this guy. I didn't really learn much about anything which is cool I guess I don't learn much about anything myself so I'm glad uh, Chuck is doing the same so but these go over here let me just stop which is strange don't you find Jesus Christ oh fuck hello sir sir oh fuck okay cool you go there let me loot good 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 yes that's all fine all right Hopefully he doesn't come back down here. So I, I don't know what we learned. We learned that slimy monsters suck. I mean, these at least. All right, that all goes all the way back downstairs. All right, so let me look at the evidence. Blah, 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 blah. Suicide note. I can't submit. The man who died and turned into a monstrous creature of the Northern Salvation Army. Blah, 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 blah. When I was trying to before the flood, man that owned it was haunted by the monsters. Jamie Reno signed more useful those creatures. I should ask him. Well, I got all the key evidence, so I guess I'll just go to the next one. So... Um, in Northern Salvation Harbor on Moorland Road between Higgs Lane and Benevolent Tides. Jesus Christ, who named these places? All right, so this is actually where I should be heading. I'm assuming I'm looking for a door with another symbol on it, just to let me know it's something that can be opened. It's somewhere around here. Let's maybe this door. No. Okay. All right, we'll find it, we'll find it. Okay, well, I've done a, a loop around the block and it doesn't seem to be actually here. What the hell was that? Anyway, um, so my only thought is that I actually have to go around and it's like here, 
But let me go down... No, that doesn't make any sense either, actually. That's really strange. It said it was be gonna be between these two streets. Well, my mind's eye should activate any, like, little glyphs so they stick out a bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing anything so far. Unless I actually really have to take my boat and go in through some obscure way to get into the building. L let me do that, because that's not, like, geographically wrong. It's just mostly geographically wrong. Like around here, around this little creepy shack. You see it? Yeah. Can I even stop here? I can't get out. I just can't make sure not to fall in there because that's bad. Fucking eels kill me if I do that. Because it said it was on Moreland Road and I just assume it kind of meant like the, the closest street next to Moreland Road. Because Moreland Road, you can see there on that helpful buoy that it's literally this street. So... It actually should be what I'm looking at right now. Unless I actually... Whoa, frame rate. Come on. Come on now. Unless I'm actually supposed to get out and swim, which I don't want to do because of the eel problem. You know, maybe it's this. Maybe it's this. Let's try this. It's on a... Oh, oh, okay. That was weird. All right. I guess it's... I guess it has to be this. Infect a man's residence. Good, good, good. All right. Oh, oh, Jesus! Who shot that? Oh, fuck! Okay, actually, I need to... Ah! Oh, let's get all Revolvey out. Revolver Ocelot. Jesus Christ, these things. Fuck them. Fuck them to hell. Shabamzos! I'm so strong. I'll just raid these coffins, because, you know, that's what a private eye does. But I get coil springs. Yeah, I love them. Love inserting those coil springs into my head to stop psychosis. All right, so I'm guessing I'm finding another dead body or something. Or maybe the guy even turned into one of these monstrosities. So, one or the other. Ooh. Every kid's childhood dream. I wanted a toy like that too once. Oh, yeah. Oh, back when I was a kid, I wanted to get the Bashojos. The slime stinks even worse than the bodies. I don't know. Looks like a deadly premonition texture. Ooze sample. Nice. Always like a good ooze. Weeks have passed since this food was cooked. It is moving the food. Don't eat food that move. That's what I always say. Okay, not really seeing anything immediate here. When I pop this, just a real quick like. My sanity just came, came back to normal. I don't know what normal is in this game. Okay, that's so gross. Like, you know, it's like uh, uh, artists and like uh, modelers have to like look up like guts and shit and like viscera. Not like, not like the wrestler viscera, but like human viscera to like know how to like make it look realistic. I'd hate to be the motherfucker that's got to like do all this sea urchins and slimy crap. No thanks. Go over there. It just kind of goes in a circle. So and has that did the casebook get updated for this at all they asked me to find out what happened i really didn't find out what happened i don't think i did i didn't say all key evidence found so i'm gonna assume it has not yet bad bad dreams again the thing under the floor keeps scratching i told mom but she said it were rats dad told out john for playing with slimes near the hole but it wasn't him i told dad about the thing that lives in the basement he punished me too tonight i saw the head looking from the hole and cried jesus wow it comes at night and wants to do bad things to me and john why don't mom and dad believe me i was so tired from not sleeping that i couldn't watch the hole and today i feel so bad my belly hurts my mouth tastes like slimes mom and john say they feel bad too even now i hear it scratching great all right i guess that wasn't the evidence i was looking for i mean unless it activated other evidence i mean is this the hole she's talking about like i assume so it's a pretty sizable hole in your house sir or madam oh wait there's something oh shit okay this is a whole crime scene thing i didn't think this would actually occur all right uh what you got here what no you got here bad i feel i have to go to work why can't you understand that Come on! <laughs> and his entire family is like sick and puking on the floor. Hey, look, man! Those rocks ain't gonna crush themselves! This! John! You. Oh, oh, what is happening to me? Alright, um. So there's some more downstairs, I believe. This family, um, not doing too well. <laughs> 
figure this out. I don't know. Maybe one here? The beast yeah. fled from the sunken basement at night and infected the family. After a short incubation period, they turned into monsters too. All right, Kevin's collected. Fucking nailed it. This family's all dead. Let the good times roll. We're gonna report it to the doctor. Oh, okay. That's pretty good. That's fine. Can't carry anymore. A suspicious restaurant. The locked map. All right. Uh, but I think I'll go uh, back on the main case for now, and I might return to this a bit later. Um, so case book. Uh, the Locked Shop, The Suspicious Restaurant, Field Research, and I'm um, still doing a Lost It's There's Mystic Tomes as well, though. Lost at Sea. Vince Mathers Attacker. Four of the Vince Mathers killed. Um, Robert Thurgood's hard to find, but managed to throw I, I don't think I've solved it enough, though, for Throgmorton. Um, what I do need to find, though, is what's her face. His mouth is uh, uh, wait until the person took the guard for the attack, attack sees the professor and the object, leaving the remainder of the expeditions, uh, of the expedition to their fates. For the ins mouth is killed, also he's wearing a strange amulet and the fish eye. For some reason, he's armed with a ceremonial dagger. Huh. Yeah, here I unlocked the beast, Jerry. Cool. Cool. Oh, I don't get to like zoom in on the photos and stuff. That is cool. If the if you have a beast, Jerry, that means there's enough monsters to put in your beast, Jerry, which is a good thing. Uh, so mind palace, leave the scientists to die. Remember we did that? That was awesome. Everyone congratulated me. Uh, so Jerry said the survivors, the ends mouthers are hairy. It must have the answers about this madness. Okay, so the Throgmorn's crib is like over here or something. Where is it? Yeah, it's around here. So uh, maybe I can turn it into him and maybe something can happen. I think this is the Throgmorn manner. Yeah, hells yeah it is. I know what I was doing. Shut up. Throgmorn like stands real close. Somewhere. There he is. Is this enough? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this was good. This was good. <sighs> Bad news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are dead, and the Innsmouthers kidnapped the professor. Those degenerates. They Yeah, they're degenerates. Die. Whatever, Donkey Kong. The Innsmouthers were there to kidnap Professor Doe. They took her and the artifacts she found, and they left the others to die. Not um, me, though. What artifact? Where did you find them? Tell me everything. Your oh, men God. found some kind of underwater temple. In it was an ancient artifact. The Innsmouthers call it the Seal. The Innsmouthers were lying in wait. Your men took the item, and the Innsmouthers took their chance and made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. How did they catch them off guard? Seems um, that after the Seal I, was taken cares? into place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental Yeah, breakdown. people don't do well when they the grab these artifacts all willy-nilly. And waited for the right moment. They uh... They knew what was going to happen. Inconceivable. Everything's inconceivable to this guy. They were Innsmouthers. One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. <laughs> this is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Whatever, Dr. Zayas. And the artifact she found. But she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. But we won't sit idle. Find them. What are we gonna do? Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring How? me my professor. I don't look like back. an insmouther. I'm looking into the madness, not politics <laughs> and power games. The macho and madness. The source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those insmouthers. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I want uh -oh. to discuss. Uh-oh. No, I'm not going to burn those hard drives for you. It matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Uh-huh. He is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. 
I would never be so crass as I... I actually believe you. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. I'm in. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one... Fine. Yeah, all my cases are made. How am I supposed to let this remain secret? And you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Discretion is my watchword. It's my safe word. Um, hey, but it sucks because when I throw around Throgmorn's name, people at least do what I say. I find it's fair. Ooh. Okay. Have a good Bye. <laughs> his, his son just got killed. Hand grenade. One knowledge point. Where's Glover gone? Find Glover. Quid pro quo. Squid pro mo. A new case still can matter. Wow, I got lots of shit. I, I it, it's weird because it never kind of is super clear, at least to me yet, when like a case should be turned in. Ah, uh, look, old Albert. What a dork. Oh man, I saw that third Annabelle movie and that boatman shit. That guy was awesome. So anyway. I have a, a skill point, I believe. So yeah, I have been putting some stuff here and there. Uh, so there's a combat proficiency, vigor. It's kind of going for vigor. My vitality increases, 15%, why not? Uh, falling from uh, height steals half the damage. That's not bad, I actually. Wait, man-eating eels deal half the damage to you while swimming. Yeah, I forgot, that shit would sucks anyway. I'll get 15% more life. That's the who who can say no to that. I'll do a delicate matter first. Herbert Glover's address is on Goldbridge Road in Central Old Grove. It's that's situated between Windhalf and Century Avenue. It's situated between Windhalf Century Avenue. Because we're in Old Grove right now. Uh Windhalf. Uh, no boat here because Old Grove is Ah! What the fuck? What I hit? Uh, uh, Old Grove is not uh, at all. Wow, look at that tree not loading in. That's a bad tree. Uh, Old Grove is not sunken in like most of the city, so I'm just gonna have to hoof it. Alright, so it's somewhere around here. I just have to look for that door with a, a mark, I assume. Uh, we are looking for an address. So it could be any house around here. Ooh, look at that, look at that. I would tear my pants. In fact, I did tear my pants doing that once. There was like a, a train thing. I was I was trying to cross to the other side of the train thing. And it was a little, like it was about that size. It was a tiny little ladder thing. Uh, sorry, fence thing. And it fucking tore my jeans. And I cried a bunch because everyone saw and pointed. And uh, I don't know why I am going on about this story. Is that Herbert? Man, those things are cool. I mean, not really, like, cool, cool, just kind of, like, weird cool. Francis Throgmorn is now single, ladies! I keep a 40-year-old newspaper article. Francis Throgmorn, the city's darling scholar and adventurer, is once again an eligible bachelor for the text unreadable. Now, it feels like someone was just here, or at least a couple hours ago. Or won't budge. Sure won't. Not much to do here right now. Maybe there's an upstairs? Or basement, hopefully? What? I can't loot that? Come on. All right, so let's, uh, wait. Ooh, scary map. Is this map important? No, it's not. Okay, so, um, now I have a piece of the puzzle, I guess. This guy's very Spencer Estate, huh? Uh, Mr. Throgmorton, is with the deepest regret that I must inform you that the price for the piece you have requested has changed once again. The demand for it has increased, and now it has tripled that which we agreed earlier. I know this is the second time that I've raised the price, but the ex extreme circumstances of the flood make each piece almost invaluable to me, as I cannot replenish my collection. Herbert Glover. There, there's, there's... Herbert Glover. I still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Which is odd, because it's right in his chest, but whatever. What? I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Okay. A picture of a mirror. Looks like they're short of full set. One of the mirrors was taken. The mirrors are important. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Shabams. Squint, run! Oh, God! Oh, Squint? Okay. I... Killed him. What is a squint? I don't like that. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm gonna go see what other loot we can take from Mr. Moneybags here. 
Peter Stormare. Who are you? What in case name are you doing in my house? Okay. Let's see what we have here. Two men broke into the There you go. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one. Oh. Okay, the art collector's demise. One knowledge point. All right, that was easy enough. That was a nice little case. Oh, took a little sanity hit, though, because of this crazy murder. All right, Mighty Joe Young. Glover's I've dead. Got some good news. And I've got some bad news. The good news is I've found Glover. And the bad? The bad news is he's dead. Murdered. Indeed. Did you discover who killed him? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? Oh. Find me Glover's killer. Well, okay. I need the name of the man who crossed me, Mr. Reed, if I'm to make an example. Oh. Well, I'll just let your wacky paper... Underwater treasures. <laughs> He's just staring at it. All right. Same game from that. You get a knowledge point, though, so I want to just spend that now. Um, I really don't care for that trap stuff. All right. Extra clip. Carry six more revolver rounds. Vitality. Your vitality increases further. Fly for my HK. Uh, what about Mind's Eye? I like smart pack. You have 25 pieces of any craft. So you know what? That's good. I should actually get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how that's in your mind. It's more like in your backpack or your pants. So at times like this where it's like you don't have a lead, I think you actually just have to go to like an archive somewhere and just look up shit. Because there's no fucking Wikipedia back here in this make-believe place. So I, I guess I could do that? Oakmont City Hall? I don't, I don't know about that though. Oakmont City uh, University Library? Maybe. Why don't I go there? Oh yeah, this place is like the swinging 20s place. It's actually like really large buildings. Uh, oh, that was that, that's that guy. I thought that was something crazier. Alright, so it's just down here. Um, I guess that's what we'll do. I, I'm fresh out of leads. Hello? Hello. Welcome Whoa! to Oakmont University Library. Joy Hayden, can I help? Uh, Charles Reed, private investigator. What's with your mouth? Bluntness, but can I ask you a question? Mouth? Yeah. <laughs> Long story. Again, sorry for me being so direct, but that can't be legal, can it? This looks like yeah, I was thinking that. This looks like torture. Legal in Oakmont, local custom. Huh. I need to see your book catalogs. Sure. Over there. And that's it. Where? No payment, no threat, <laughs> no favors in return. No. Library public. Knowledge for everyone. Welcome. Well, that's music to my uh eyes. Over there where? You just said over there. I mean, I'll find it eventually, but okay, there's a lot of flies in here. <sighs> All right, Mr. Thomas asks you to find out what happened to Donald Glover, a collector of fine arts. Um, I don't think that's gonna art collector's demise. Uh, it's not his uh, own robbery. Um, history, science, religion, restricted section, modern, Ethan, United States, local. That's not gonna help with this, unfortunately. Picture of a mirror. No, I need to go to like a, a police station or something to find out at least about the burglary. Fuck this. Heather, Joy, whatever your name was, you didn't help at all. Okay, so, whoa, no, uh, uh police station, police station. Uh, geez, okay, I, I guess I'll take the boat for like one quick jaunt up the river and uh, hopefully they'll have some stuff at least about burglaries so I can get that done because I, I don't know where to start with the other shit. All right, well, I can't, oh, hey. I hope this is legal. I'm just parking my boat. Hey, don't scratch it. Well, there's other fast travel points. There's that at least coming up. Um, so yeah, it's all the way up here, which is incredibly blocked off. Wasn't expecting that. I mean, it's not blocked off in the fucking picture, but you know, maybe I can turn around and just go around the long way. All right, there's, there's a flat foot, so it's gotta be right here. Oakmont. Police department. Yeah, the little, little, that really friendly logo. So these two scratches, uh, they mean that there's like characters inside to talk to, basically. Hello. 
Well, look who finally it's decided me. to show up. If it ain't Charles, oh, the guy that Reed, solves all the, the fucking cases? The case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can Caleb we Lyons is a cool name. To assist you, Mr. Holmes. I'm going to be really sassy with you. You and I have a problem, officer. No, no. Aside from making everyone in the Oakmont Police Department look like idiots. Let well, me you don't have frank, mind powers. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal here. Okay. Well, can I use the police for <laughs> the meantime? I like yeah. Chuck. But only because of Mr. Throgmorton's patronage. And heed me well, you're on mighty thin ice. And I'll be under it when it breaks. Well, let me know when you can do that when you're not busy solving no cases. All right, well, where's your archive at? Can you help me, sir? I'm lost already. Here's your archive. No, that's just your office. Never mind. Here's your archive. I found it without any problems with you. Crimes. Search. Yeah, squint. Uh, Philip O'Connell, alias squint. Uh, sex is male. Uh, age is 46, as it's unknown. Crime is new as Berkeley. It's an old grove, breaking and entering, tax evasion. Possible associates, Sydney Stokes. Uh, residents, Oakmont, Massachusetts. Northern Salvation Harbor. West of the intersection, more than Salvation Road. Crimes, jaywalking, lollygagging, and jury duty dodging. All right, so uh, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. So, okay, I found him. Man, if they just put Dick Tracy in this, then we'd have a solid Dick Tracy game, wouldn't we? Uh, so, like, somewhere here's about. Somewhere's here's. Uh, west of the intersection of Moreland Road and Salvation Road. West of the intersection. So, like, here, I guess. Maybe it's this building? Sure, okay. I'll I'll take that. God, where the fuck am I? Jesus, I'm all the way over there. Alright, so I guess I could fast travel to the Shells West and just simply go down this one street. I don't know, Violent Crimes, Art Collector's Demise, Letter of the Mr. Throgmorton, Herbert Glover's Address, Where's Glover gone? Art Collector's Demise. Uh, so yeah, I can't really find anything with the main uh, plot in there with the kidnapping of, of the lady. So I'm just going to assume I can't do that yet or whatever. Oh, geez. I almost sent myself to jail. Though. That was crazy. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? All right. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So go straight down here and uh, we should hold near that near that spire of death way in the background. Yeah, uh, we should hopefully uh, find the squints Friend? I don't even know what he is. His associate, his associate. I could swim this. I mean, I probably should have taken that, like, little skill perk where I take half damage from blood sucking eels or whatever, but whatever. So, this is like a weird factory. I don't know. Ew, it's an Innsmouther. I don't know if he's actually going to be here. Now, sometimes there's monsters in places like this, sometimes they're not. I'm still going to. Try to be... This is gross. Mr. Stokes, the price for a separate burial for your mother, Martha Stokes, is 30 bullets. The morgue cannot give you a discount. There are more requests for burials and we have resources or manpower to satisfy. You must make the payment in two weeks or we will have to enter your mother into a mass grave. That's rough. Letter from, I'm ugh. happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. The, ga the game's it's like, expensive. no, it's not what I wanted you to look at. Ah! Jesus... That was a little scary, actually. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's his dear old mama, it's Martha like Stokes. I hate how they jump and jive! Okay, good. Is that cereal? Holy shit, there's more! There's another one! Man. All of you, please go away. I'm busy investigating. Oh. At long last. What? I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. What's with all this mirror shit? I don't get it. Okay, let me, I'll do that in a second. All right, I'm going a little crazy. I just want to see if there's any items around anything I missed. Oh shit, I'm stuck, aren't I? I'm fucking stuck, aren't I, behind this fucking bed. Oh God. I'm like a little stuck. Okay, no, I'm fine, folks. I'm fine. Everyone's I'm fine. Anyway, so there's a bird somewhere here. 
it says this away. Holy shit. Park, get away from ah. me. Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Wait, where'd you come from? Wait, who's on who's dead on the floor? Sidney Stokes, I presume. I I that's the right right. Do I do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or should I say knew him? Uh okay. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. Who, like Bette Midler? You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she, she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She, she promised us a good payout for a simple job, and I fell for it like a chump. <laughs> uh, where is the mirror? What was Which your, uh, was your job? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. Yeah, but someone hoofed you to the punch. Where's this fancy? No, mirror wait. Now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blow out and she shifted him. Okay, what am Jeez. I Jeez. Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I I, I'm the not idea guy. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Oh, and her mouth was stitched her. together. I knew it. Uh, that's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. Were you hired to kill the collector too, or was that just for laughs? Oh, I see his I, I, I eyes narrow. Okay, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us, and I panicked. You panicked, really? That's your excuse. Oh, please, as K is my witness, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Eh, I'll let you go. Sap, but at least you're not a sap. I want to see what you can give me. It's scarce and fast. Oh, thank you. You're a life cipher. Uh, you won't see me again, I swear. He here, take this. Thanks again. Give me a knowledge point. Give me a fucking knowledge point. City Sucks Testament First Aid Kit. Uh, I don't know if that was worth it. What do you want? I don't know. I don't know what I want anymore. <laughs> give me what I want! Who the fuck are you? Why'd you just walk in here? Oh! Bye! I guess it's just a random NPC that just got too close to the door trigger. Okay, so that was something. The woman who took the mirror, and the woman took possession of the mirror, and the thief stole from God. She killed Phil O'Connell, also known on the street as Squint. She said that she'd fix what Francis had done. She may look old, but there's not a frail bone in her body, and still is more than capable of murder. All right, return to Mr. Throgmorton. All right, fair enough. A cur check for like the third or fifth time. The case you sent me on has resulted in me not finding anything, but everyone I did find was dead. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes. Like every time. to be robbing his place. And he wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Oh, they're very dead. Ooh, I can report on him. Mmm, both are dead. decided to bump them off. Now, I hope that's not standard business practice in these parts. <laughs> you to be far more valuable to me alive than dead, Mr. Reed. You have nothing to worry about in that regard. That's nice. About reward. Right. I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yeah, yeah. I feel like that's what this I is going towards. Rudely snatched it from my grasp. Um, I accept. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That is without doubt my father, Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. 
And what's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Okay, so suddenly we're on on about this mirror. Is this like replacing the main plot for now? You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me well, with joy. Well, I'm an investigator. If you need, so be it. Okay. Take this key. Yeah, he really doesn't want to let me do it. Ah, uh, 12 gauge shell, a stolen mirror, key for Francis to study, picture of a mirror, through the looking glass, tons of shit popping off. Um, but I think that's gonna be it for, uh, this time, uh, ladies and gents. I, I'm, we're kind of getting away from the Cthulhu stuff a little bit with, with all these side quests, but I don't know. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to go about, uh, getting onto the, the main case again, quid pro quo, because I don't know anything. I, I, the clues are, are mysterious to me and obscure. Uh, maybe, uh, give me some helpful comments about how I can pick it back up again, and maybe, maybe we'll do more of this. I'm really digging this game in general. Like I said, I'm only gonna return to this every so often. But yeah, I'm gonna return to this every so often, I still think, uh, unless you guys... Uh, want me to do more or less, let me know in the comments below, or let me know if you're going insane from all the Cthulhu sperm being shot out over the greater Oakmont area.